Me audio test. Me audio test. Me audio test. Test, test, test. DJ Domineer coming back at you again today with another reaction video on the Hood Olympics. It's an older video, but still, I think it's still pretty funny. I've seen like a uh, like a sequel of it or the third one of Hood Olympics, and I just figured I would react to the uh, the series, do like a series of the whole Hood Olympics thing to see, show like my opinions on it and all that, and laugh like crazy to it. So yeah, let's get into it, guys. Also, before we get into this, I literally just had a heart attack while recording this video because I thought OBS, the uh, the program I use to film these reaction videos, I thought it wasn't picking up my sound at all, and it says here in the audio mixer that. Sound is clearly being picked up by me, so I don't know what was going, what happened there. But uh, without further ado, let's get into Hood Olympics. Don't mean to bore you guys with the whole scary story of me not me recording this great ass video. None of the audio, none of the audio gets transmitted. Just saying, guys, before we get started, the picture quality on this looks pretty good. The lights I have behind me, the LEDs behind me look pretty good. Now let's get into Hood Olympics. And here we are with men's carjacking 100 meters. First up, we have Mark Phillips straight out of the hood. He's one of the best carjackers in any hood of the United States. These RDC videos, RDC world videos are so fucking funny. I can't get over these. They're just so funny and they're so happy of how it is at the hood. It's like, me like cow duty, cow duty, ain't my thing, you ain't my thing. Black Yoshi reference, Super Mario Logan. And in lane two, we have England's very own gold medalist, Desmond Johnson, a phenomenal lock picker. It's said that if you leave your car unattended by him for five seconds, it's as good as gone. Um, <laughs> if you leave your, your car in front of both of these guys within five seconds, it's gone. Like GTA 5 style. Let's see. This is probably going to be like GTA 5. Let's see what happens here. Very anxious to see how this one's going to play out. This is definitely going to be one for the books. And they're off. They Both go. niggas definitely matched in speed. Mark takes a stop at the beamer trying to stun on niggas while Desmond heads for the Stratus. Mark looking like he's having a hard time with that. Let's see. Oh, American struggling. Ooh, he's struggling. Ooh. That 08 beamer while Desmond looking so comfortable with it. He's done this before plenty of times. Desmond gets the door open a little bit faster than Mark. They both head into the car. I hear the Stratus oh, starting up. Boy. The Brit pulls away fast. Desmond turn the wheel. Two times gold medal. And they drive on the left too. And they're like, and he's kicking ass here. One thing about driving in, like, the UK or Australia or New Zealand or Ireland or wherever, like, colonies that were once part of the uh, the British Empire and uh, Japan and Thailand, even though Japan and Thailand never were, like, official, they still, like, dealings with the British or some shit, so they drive on the left as well. But I don't know what it is. People that can drive on the right side of the road can't drive on the left side of the road, but people that can drive on the left side of the road can Drive on the right side of the road like we do here in Amer North America. It's a whole thing. Let's continue. Well, he's definitely won this one. Homeowner running out the house. He's definitely too late. Desmond's been gone. No, he can't catch Desmond. That strategy's gone. He turns around and tries to stop the Beamer. He's got Mark. He's not even trying to put up a fight. He knows where he's going. Up next, we have Desmond. Let's see what that means. Yeah, this guy, that guy in the, uh, the, the BMW is pretty fucked. Around trying to stop the beamer, he's got Mark. He's not even trying to put up a fight. He knows where he's going. Up next, we have Desmond Johnson and weed rolling. He said to be able to roll 100 blunts in under five minutes, so we're definitely expecting a 100 blunts in under five minutes. I don't think I've ever seen someone, I mean, do that. I mean, maybe Joe Rogan could or Snoop Dogg could. Snoop Dogg! Actually, Snoop Dogg could. That properly rolled blunt from him today. And he's off. Look how he's rolling that blunt. <laughs> Sheer concentration. I don't know anyone who could do it better. Look at him roll that blunt. Here comes the hardest part, licking the blunt. He's got to apply a nice and even coat of saliva to make that blunt. Pro oh, and he's definitely going to get points taken off for that extra lick. That is too much saliva. Unnecessary. And here is Desmond Johnson in the men's swag off. He's uh, looking like the typical hood nigga here. Um, he had let me try. Let me try swag off with this guy. What's up? What's up, YouTube? I'm sorry, I'm so crazy, but I don't give a shit. He has the Jordan futures on the black side. Ooh, what is that? A uh, brick. He definitely missed that shot. Oh, he has a uh, typical non-hooping outfit on. Yeah, they that. never can hoop when they go to the court like that. Next up, we have Leland Manny going to swag off, walking in like he can drop any nigga at any second. 
me. He has the nice short sleeve hoodie on and the ooh, Maroon 6 is definitely compliments the outfit fresh as fuck. Oh shit. Canada got some big drip, my bro. Is that the crib walk? He's definitely hitting that niggas love. Ooh shit, is that the that's a raven dance? He's definitely gonna get some uh points there. Niggas love dancing. He's uh he did the thing, he did the damn thing. He's a mess. And last but not Yeah, he's a mess. Not least, Mark. These guys are all mad. Phillips in the swag off, walking in like he can take your bitch at any second. Okay, with the Dragon Ball Z shirt on, definitely some points there. Niggas love Dragon Ball Z. Lane. Oh, I mean, people in general, like people in general, love anime. I need to start watching some anime. My brother recently sent me a. My brother Antonio, he recently sent me a, a link of a like a Reddit link of all the uh, Naruto episodes that uh, are unnecessary to watch because like. 90% of Naruto, from what he tells me, is just all filler. And it's like, they don't, like, cut to the chase. Like, Naruto, get to the point. We want to see you beat someone's ass, Naruto. Continue. Any fives? He's definitely complimenting the fit as well. I like how this dude's standing there like he's that nigga. Oh, shit. Fresh fade on his head. And walking off like, nigga, I just did that shit. Jumping right into Hood's Men freestyling yeah, eight bars. Uh, we have what Jamaica. About to Dance whole rap. Give you some of that uh, Jamaican heat. Okay. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah. Big shirt cause I do big things. What up Jamaica got girls with the fat things? Whip white like cool. Your girl got dumb brain like she dropped out of school. I be no fool. I'm going for the gold like you saying boy. You countries lost your cool. I'm taking your ring like candy on a rope. <laughs> give me your ring man, just give me your ring. Give me your ring. This flow definitely has some uh, Jamaican heat. He said uh, big shirts cause I do big. It's so it'll be mellow. I mean, shout out uh, Jay Cactus, because he made, uh, actually, he made, like, an African drill type beat. That was pretty fire, though. Sometimes late at night, I will uh, catch myself listening to just random-ass drill beats, or trap beats, or tech techno beats, or... I listen to random EDM and rap beats, is what I'm saying. Things, um... This is more of a rap video. Definitely more of a rap video than an EDM video, but uh, let's continue. He's definitely taking some rings from a few countries with that right there. And uh, that's Jamaica, F. Young Harris. And here we are with Olympics men's Ooh. roasting. We have Mark Phillips from the USA and Leela Manigo from Canada. Definitely some of their country's best roasters. And uh, they're going to high side here at Hood Rio for lack of a... I want to see the USA roast Canada and Canada roast USA. I want to see what they could do. Let's see what they Better do. term. And ooh, look at that execution on Mark's wrist. He's definitely ready. We have Ben the instigator and Desmond Johnson as the instigator as well. I expect to hear a lot of ooh shits. And uh, let's jump right into it. I got him. I got him. Boy, the first nigga to have a short... Ooh, shits, and uh, let's jump right into it. I got him, I got him, boy. The first nigga to have a short sleeve sweater wearing ass, boy. Look at your black ass, boy. Tar skin ass, boy. Man, nah, fuck that. You had a line coming out of here with that damn Dragon Ball Z shirt. Are you like 25 years old? Boy, you better stop. I'm busting Crayola shirt on your boy. Get back. Boy, hell no. Get your Gucci Mane looking ass. Genuine hair ass. Man, fuck that. Rusko Dash looking ass. Oh, shit. Hold on. Boy, you better. When is the UK gonna do something? USA and Canada are just roasting each other. Not like roasting each other's countries, but like they're roasting like their shirts or whatever. It's the whole thing. Stop. Stop. Well, I know you ain't got no green pants on, boy. Ugly pants ass, boy. What is those? You better Man. stop. You slip. I mean, not gonna lie, green pants are kind of ugly. I'm not really, I've never been really a fan of like uh, army type pants. I, I'm the kind of person that would wear. Hold on, let me get out of my chair. I wear, uh... see these right here, these bad boys? Uh, I got, uh, sweatpants and jeans. That's the way to go. Let's continue. A minute left. In them hoes, woke up <laughs> and came out here. But to be honest with you, after high school, nobody gives a shit what you wear. Yo, 28 years old, you got two of you 28 years old with oh, nah, 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 fuck all that. Boy, you 28 years old with braces and your teeth oh, still big. So, so, oh, boy, you trick daddy looking ass, boy. <laughs> 
that was definitely a great roasting match. I just want to highlight some of my favorite parts. Uh, Leland being the first nigga to have a short sleeve jacket wearing ass definitely had me rolling, had my kids rolling as well. But um, Leland had some heat as well. Um, he said Mark was 25 years old, still wearing a Dragon Ball Z shirt wearing ass. Uh, definitely had us cracking up as well. We were all rolling. I just want to say, look at how Mark threw that hand right there. Definitely some heat was about to come out no matter what. Perfectly executed. I couldn't. That, that hand when he was like. He was like, I don't give a shit. I'm going to roast your ass. And I don't give a shit what anyone says. Be more astonished by his performance. I don't care and then what the anyone fire says. He gave I don't care if you broke her out. That's what that, what that hand says. Right here, Gucci Mane looking ass and genuine hair ass. Such an accurate description. Look at his hair. Like, it's some R&B singer. Genuine. Cisco. It was somebody. It's crazy. <laughs> Wait, hold up a minute. Looks like somebody might be heating up out there. <laughs> What's up, bitch? What? what? Okay guys, that was the reaction for today. If you like this type of content, if you want to see more of this type of content, be sure to leave me a like down below. Please be sure to check out some of my other videos and please be sure to um check out my live streams I did. Although I did not gonna lie, I did fuck up the first the second one. I am actively trying to improve the uh the quality of the live streams as well as the reactions because I'd like to try to do uh reactions and beat cook up live streams on this channel now and uh if you guys like it, liking that type of content, you want to see more of that content, you might want a good idea to subscribe to the channel and or maybe just check out some of my other videos first. And uh, as usual, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, DJ Domineer signing off.